Good afternoon. I'm pleased to welcome you to the STT Group channel. My name is Dmitry Surkov. I'm an information security specialist. Today, as promised in the previous video, we'll talk about the NR2000 nonlinear junction detector, see and analyze its controls as well as its application tactics when searching for bugging devices, or so-called wiretap. To demonstrate the operation of this device, we simulate the following situation. Let the attacker gave a bribe to the secretary of your boss, and she placed the inconspicuous household items, including the bugging devices, on his desktop. Before starting work on searching for bugging devices using our device, let's see what is still included in its package. The complete set of NR2000 includes the locator itself, headphones for the operator to work orally, chargers to recharge the batteries. We can also charge them using a car cigarette lighter. Also, a device for wireless connection of headphones is included. A belt is included with the device. A shoulder rest is also included with the device for the convenience of the operator and so that the hand does not get tired. To check the device operability, a simulator is included. The simulator contains an ordinary diode, which allows us to check whether our device is working properly. In order to start working with the device, press the power button. Next, with the power button, we select either the minimum or maximum radiation mode. Using the plus and minus buttons, we can adjust the sensitivity of receiving path using an attenuator. The vol button allows us to adjust volume of sound. The channel button allows us to connect headphones using a wireless channel. The 20K button turns on the envelope section mode when working orally. If we are looking for any metallic compounds, then the third harmonic is triggered, that is green LEDs. A sign of the presence of electronics in the tested objects is the actuation of the device according to the second harmonic, that is red LEDs. Now we'll examine the desktop of our bus for possible bugging devices that may be on it. As we understand it, there should not be any electronic objects on the table in this location. Here we have only stationary, a paper tray and folders. And any actuation of our locator by the second harmonic will give the suspicion that there is some kind of electronic device here, which will be a bugging device or wiretap. Right now we are examining with our locator all the objects that are on the boss's desktop. As we can see, the actuation by the second harmonic occurred, that is, the red LED is lit up. And as we hear, an audible alarm also triggered. Accordingly, we suspect that there are any electronic items. Now we gradually select suspicious objects and examine them separately. As we see, the actuation by the second harmonic occurs again, that is, the red LED is lit up. And we have huge suspicions that there are some electronic components in this eraser. Now we'll open it and see what is inside. Well, as we see, the SIM card was inside. After examining the boss's desktop, without foil, we must check the waste paper basket. Often a bugging device is thrown into it. It will work and you will not even guess. As you can see, there is an actuation. That is, there is a suspicion that there are some electronic devices in this basket. Now we'll examine in more detail what is inside. We have the first suspicious item. Now we'll put it on the table and consider it more carefully. We have a second suspicious item. We have a third suspicious item. Now we'll watch them separately to make sure there is something there or not. Here we look at this envelope, yeah. Here the actuation by the second harmonic occurs, which means that there is electronic inside the envelope. We open, look and yes, really there is a SIM card. Now consider the following suspicious subject. Well, in principle, even by visual signs, it is clear that there is something inside the device with the antenna. But just in case we check with the locator, we see an actuation. We get out and see that there is a board. Well, it makes no sense to inspect the third item with the locator because the board sticks out. Thus, with the help of a nonlinear junction detector, we were able to identify the bugging device that was on the boss's desktop in that location where there should not be any electronic devices. 
and we also found three imitations of bugging devices located in the waste paper basket. Besides, they should not have been in the waste paper basket. Today we simulated a specific situation, unfortunately within the framework of one video. It is impossible to consider all possible ways of introducing bugging devices. If you suspect that your information is at risk, please contact STT Group specialists. We will always find a solution to your problem. Subscribe to the channel, like and ask questions at the comments, and we'll definitely answer them. See you soon!